Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Docker in Reaper. Now, if we go to our mixer in the view, right now it's floating, which means it's right up here and we can move it around, but we could also put it in the Docker. If we right click over here in the unused section on the side, we could choose the option Dock Mixer in Docker. And that puts it down over here. If we want to fold it again, we can go right down to here, drag it out, drop it, and now it's folding again. Now there's many different windows that can go into the Docker. Let me show you a few. Right click it again, put it back in the Docker. If we go to View, many of the windows right here can go in the Docker, like Item Properties. Right now it's floating. We can right click it over here and put it in the Dock. Now we have two items in this Dock, one here and one here. And we can switch it this way or by using the keystrokes, which we can see over here. So we can switch to the mixer or switch to the item properties by hitting that keystroke. And again, we can float this by putting it back up here, and now it's floating. But let's put it back in the Docker. And let's add a few more. Let's open the Media Explorer. Again, it's floating. We can right click over here and put it in the Docker. Let's open the Navigator. Do the same thing. It's floating now. And now it's in the Docker. The project bay. Again, it's floating. And now it's in the Docker. Let's add one more. The track manager. Now it's floating. Right click over here. And now it's docked. So all these windows are docked down here. We could just switch them like this. And we could also fold the Docker. Right click down here, uncheck Attach Docker to Main Window. And now the entire Docker is folding. We could still choose it from here, but the window itself is floating. Let's put it back on the main window. Now we could also split the Docker. So we could take this item right here, the track manager, and put it to the right side on the bottom. See how it turns gray in the bottom right corner? And now we have a Docker that's split in two parts. These items are all here, and just this one item is in this half. But we can move things as we want. We can put the project bay over here. Now these two are on this side, and these four are on this side. And we could split it in more than two. Let's take our navigator and move that one to the lower right. Drop it, and now it's split in threes, which we could adjust right here. Each split and the overall height right here. And we could split it in fours as well. Let's take the project bay and drop it over here. Now we have four locations for our Docker. And again, we can move things around, put this one here, put this one over here, and resize them as we want. Now we could also put these windows on the sides. Let's take the Media Explorer and put it on the left. See how it turns gray? Drop it and it shows up over here. And we still have these four. Let's get rid of two of these to make it easier to see. Put this one over here and this one over here. So now we have these two on the bottom and this one on the left. We could put some on the right. Let's put the properties on the right side. See what turns gray over here? Drop it. And now we have a window on the right side, which we could adjust right here. This one, 
this one, and these two here. Now we could also put them on the top. So I grab the track manager and put it up here. See if it turns gray there. Now we have one on the top, but we can split it on the top as well. Let's put the project bay up here. And now we have two over here, which we can move around the same way. And there's no limit to how many we could do. We could have as many that'll fit based on your monitor on the top, bottom, left, and right. And we could still show and hide these on an individual basis. So we could hide the mixer by hitting the key command, and that goes away, or we'll show it, or we'll do it from the menu up here. The properties, it hides it, and we could show it again. So it's very flexible. If you have room for it, you could have it on your screen. And we could also hide and show it globally. So right here, there's a key command for the Docker. So if we turn it off, they all go away. But if we choose it again, either by the menu or the key command, they all come back. And again, we can choose them individually, the properties, the mixer, and so on. So anyway, that's the Docker in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.